was stalking Rin the other day? Stalking? Of course not! Oh, sorry. So, by Catherine, you mean... This is Steve? Catherine's boyfriend? What? Are you serious? You ass... Shit! Her boyfriend? Was she playing me? I thought it was weird for her to rush them. Oh, man, this shit keeps getting worse. Uh... Don't you fucking hang up on me. I know where you live, asshole. Huh? Look, you don't want to fuck with me, understand? Uh, I'm sorry. You're probably just using her, huh? No, it's not... Then you two are serious? Well, no. So then you are just using her. <sighs> Look, I'll break things off with her. Okay, I, I was planning to do it in the first place. In the first place? <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I, I never thought it would end up this way. <sighs> this is for your sake as well. You know the difference between right and wrong, right? I'll kill you. Okay. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> well, this fucking blows. <sighs> oh, what the fuck does everyone want with me? At least now I can resolve this situation with her. He said his name was Steve. In any case, Catherine's gotta agree to break up with me once I tell her about this. I'll see her one more time to have a talk. Sorry. Did I wake you? Uh, yes. Are those your pajamas? They are. I didn't have any, so Erica gave me these. Really? That's nice of her. 
Hey, you look good on you. <laughs> hey. You sure you're okay? Um, well, what do you mean? You look like something's wrong. <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess lately a lot's been happening. Maybe I'm stressed. Vincent. You're okay? Erica told me this can really help make people feel better. Mm, she smells nice. I feel so... Vincent, I love you. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? It's okay. Know that I'll always be there for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just hold on. Um, just remembered I gotta be somewhere. Oh, yeah, I need to go chat with a friend of mine. I almost forgot. Boy, <laughs> that would have been a disaster. <laughs> Uh, Steve? I don't know anyone named Steve. What? Really? What's this about? Why are you bringing up this Steve guy out of the blue? I got a call this morning. This guy Steve said he's your boyfriend. Huh? What? He said he was my boyfriend? Yeah. He called me up. He said he was Catherine's boyfriend. Hmm. Well, obviously, someone's got the entirely wrong person. Huh? But, but I it... told you, it's not me. Really? Then who is it? How would I know? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. <laughs> yeah, like I know a... <sighs> hmm? Wait. No, 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 I can't be. Um, you really know another Catherine? Just... Just let me think for a second, please. Um... Catherine definitely isn't a cheater. And I can't just trust every word this girl says. Hey, wait. Maybe this guy is just one of your lurkers. Huh? What do you mean? There's gotta be countless men that have fallen for you, right? Maybe one of them is still trying to get you to fall for him. I mean, you are really cute. <laughs> huh? God, what am I saying? <sighs> anyway. Maybe this guy's not even named Steve. He's probably some creeper trying to act slick. <laughs> Stop. You're scaring me. Oh, sorry. You know, let's let's just drop it. Hey, you're the one that brought it up. It can't be. So, um, after we get out of here. Her cheating on me? That's absurd. No, that, that's impossible. But can I really say it's absolutely impossible? I can't. Ah! Hey, are you listening? Oh, sorry, I kind of, kind of zoned out there. You know, being with you is a real pain sometimes. Huh? Oh, sorry. Whatever. I'm going now. See you later. Yeah. No, wait! You, you can't come over tonight. Too late. I've already decided. Seriously, tonight is not a good time for me. I, uh, have really bad diarrhea. Hmm, that's so? Well, if you're not feeling well, I guess there's no point in going. Take care. Oh, okay. cheating? <laughs> That's impossible. Not Catherine. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. She's always meeting new people for work. Plus, she doesn't always choose hey, the best guys. Stop saying right? it like I've been cheating time? all this time. Ugh, don't you get it? It isn't about length. Jeez, you men are such pigs. Well, next time she's here, tell me, man. <laughs> I want to see her. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to be a meetup. Out this way. This all sounds like a huge pain. Uh, come on, stop being so down. I mean, you don't even know if she's really cheating, right? Uh, so, what are you gonna do now? What else can I do? I have to know. Seriously, I'm just in shock now. 
in shock my ass. Even if it's true, you're not innocent either. You're just a selfish pig. <laughs> She's right, you know. I know... I know I'm doing the same thing. If I knew she was lying to me, I couldn't take it. And yet here I am. Oh, man. Hey, Vincent. Wow. What a loser. Dude, I can't watch this anymore. You're really bringing me down, man. So she dumped him? Yep. People say he's in bad shape. He's looking pretty messed up now. He might not pull out of this. He may even show up on the morning news. Don't joke about that, man. That's not cool. Anyway, did you hear what happened? Ah, oh, jeez. This place is getting pretty loud these days. Hey, it might not just be a rumor. It's like, you know, the dream where you're falling and you'll die if you hit the ground before you wake up. Lately, a lot of customers have been talking about having strange dreams. That's just stupid. How's anyone supposed to know what dream the dying person had? They're dead. It's just a dream. And real. Right, Vincent? Maybe he's already dead. Vince! Vince, wake up or you'll die! Seriously, is he gonna be okay? I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna take a piss. me or did she get like way better at playing piano hey toby what's going on what's it look like we're getting this on camera didn't you see the news this morning rin's trending man big story about the beautiful pianist who lost her memory they say if you send someone a video of her they'll get their wish granted oh come on oh well i heard it lets you meet your true self seriously Oh, man. Well, what I heard was that it would fix your broken-ass relationship. Bullshit. Don't sweat the details. Just think of it as a good luck piano. That's it. I'm adding you, Vince. You could use a pick-me-up. You got a mail. Hey, leave me out of this. Come on, why not? It's supposed to get stronger the more you send out. Uh, that's called spam. Do you regret it, though? Yeah, check out how good she looks on camera. Uh, I guess. You're a real pro now, Rin. Music like that could raise the dead. So, what's your secret? <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Nah, don't sell yourself short. So, Rin, about this morning. Yo, I... do it again! <laughs> I want in on this. Okay, sure. Oh, uh, could you play that one song? Oh, my my girlfriend loves it. What's it called? Rin's getting awfully popular. <sighs> it's been like this all day. People can't get enough of that piano. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me you're jealous. Like you're not so special. It's not like that. It's just more like watching a bird leave the nest, you know? Besides, I've already got it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, geez. Men are so self-centered. Hey, you'd better not be sending mixed messages. I'm worried. Rin's a little naive, you know? People get their hearts broken over this kind of thing. And it's pretty clear that... Pretty clear that what? Never mind. Just ignore me. I have a video of her, and now everyone's asking me to send it to them. 
doesn't mean you have to send it to me every five minutes. But it totally grants wishes. I heard the receptionist's boyfriend propose to her after watching it. Oh, really? Fascinating. Maybe I'll take another video. <sighs> Maybe I'll take a video so I can live in peace. of yesterday's story? Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. It's done, it's done. That's what everyone else says. But it still won't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. Got a mail. <sighs> you don't look so good. <laughs> Todd, my boss, he's dead. How? Oh. He wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I, I, I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. D don't worry about it. They're, d they're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He was such a good guy. Everyone seems to be talking about that piano player. I hope it doesn't get too out of hand. Sorry, but, well, whatever. Boss. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? This one? Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They come out of the mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Mr. Todd has died. What? It's three days until the time of freedom. You got a mail. to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. Are you drinking? Hey, I've been waiting for you. Did you know Todd? He was a regular here. 
Yeah, the, the department manager, right? Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth. He was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? Yeah. If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And to kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. That pianist is certainly the talk of the town. I heard your deepest wish will come true if you listen to her play. Maybe I'll take a video of her so I can catch the culprit. You got a mail. things oh, I'll get you next time lamb <laughs> tonight's stage is the clock tower quit wasting your time and come on over what the takes me back. Sorry, I need to take a whiz. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. Trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. <laughs> you should spend. 
spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica? You're so good with the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Hey, that's mean. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. Now you're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Well, isn't everyone like that? Yeah. You took life one step at a time until you started dating Catherine, didn't you? Uh, shut up already. I think it's about time I left. You got a mail. The text message of happiness, huh? Well, Erica's always been into those weird superstitions. <laughs> Especially the romantic ones. Not that it's really worked out for her. Remember that time she got hurt? Dropped off the face of the planet? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. You know, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. And I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. You got a mail. Ah, uh, Catherine he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? <sighs> Sleepies. I think it's time to go home. To set things straight tomorrow. Vincent, we're going home now. All right, I'll see you later. Ah. <laughs> All that alcohol is bad for your liver. <laughs> Hurry up. I've been looking forward to your trial. Did I, did I just hear something? Said she loved me, but that's like a brotherly love, right? I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. A kir is an aperitif that is consumed before a meal. Here is a popular French cocktail consisting of creme de cassis topped with white wine. A Kir Royale uses champagne in place of the white wine used in the traditional Kir. The Kir Imperial is a modern version of the Kir Royale and uses strawberry liqueur in place of champagne. Why not show off in front of your friends and order one before your food arrives? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. You want something else? It's getting pretty late. Here. You got it. Here it is. to suspect her. <sighs> I wish that pianist of happiness could get rid of the pit in my stomach.
When it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Erica just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. And now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> Todd Bozeman, age 45. The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all we currently have on this story. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. We will now cover the story of the beautiful pianist with no memory. You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando too, but not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. Still, you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. Oh, come on. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? that song you're always playing I'm actually not sure but it's like my fingers remember the motions it must be really important to me I just wonder if it might be a clue as to who you are Vincent there's something I need to talk to you about what's wrong Did the stalker come back oh no actually the shower in my apartment's been acting up the water keeps running cold Oh, yeah. The place is kind of falling apart. Sometimes I just bang on stuff and it works again, but... Really? Okay, I'll try that next time. I knew I could count on you, Vincent. sending that video to anyone? I sent it out to my friends. Who knows, it might actually bring them happiness. Okay, I get it. Look, I'm just worried, okay? It's not just you. Everyone's been acting kind of weird lately. It's fine, Erica. We're not gonna fall apart at the first sign of trouble. I'll see you later.
You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. She's always meeting new people for work. From this point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them and will damage nearby blocks. Where am I this time? There's still more?
I have another reason to live now. I want to see that piano player again. I have to keep climbing. I made it because of you. Thank you. Promise me that you'll make it to the next level too. You're pretty popular now, huh? I'm finally able to play the way I want to play. I think it's because you accepted me for who I am, Vincent. Really? I'm glad I'm regaining my memories, but... I'm also scared. Scared of what? What if I get my memories back, and I discover something about myself I didn't know existed? Don't worry, Ren. You are you, no matter what, right? <laughs> Your words always give me courage, Vincent. I wonder, the questions we're being asked in the confession were supposed to judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. Those questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. How have you been answering them? I think he'd know if I was lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic, praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? I didn't mean to. I mean, she asked me first. I can't believe this is happening to me. Anna, I climb and climb, but I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you all right? True freedom. That's the only chance I have left. True freedom. It's the only chance I have. You made it. <laughs> what? Did you think I'd die here? 
No, no, that's not what I meant. What would you say to a friend if you found out that he was a billionaire? I'd be a little disappointed he didn't tell me. It's as if he didn't trust me. And I guess I'd just say I'm a little jealous. And? Would you ask him for money? He, he's a friend, right? Even I wouldn't do that. That's what everyone says at first. Then they reveal their true colors. I'm an oil baron, you see. I was born into wealth. I have over a thousand servants and at least a hundred cooks, like Mr. Scarf. For real? Money corrupts the heart. It's sad, but it's true. There was a man who asked me for money once. He's dead now. He used the money to buy a fancy car and was killed by a mugger. Now go. I want to deter you from asking me for money if possible. I'm sorry to say this, but please. Now that I'm used to it, I don't really care that everyone looks like a sheep. It's what's inside that counts, yeah? You've lost a lot of sheep, but I'm not gonna give up. I've gotta keep going. For those who didn't make it. <sighs> that guy with the pompadour seems to be missing. He didn't fall yesterday because of that thing, did he? I don't know. I thought we could all make it out of here if we put our heads together, but I guess it's not that easy. <sighs> hmm. I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Let's work together and get out alive. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain timber. If you want to drop an entire wall, leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then, push the supporting block and the wall will all fall down in one. Don't you think it's useful? Oh, I just had an idea. What do you think of this? Allow me to explain controlled explosion. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. Heavy blocks and immovable blocks can't be destroyed, so you can rely on them in areas that have bombs. That's just inspired. What a great idea. Oh, man. I wish I'd thought of that. Not bad. Do you want to review the techniques? I gotta go. Good luck to you guys. No, it can't be. Mm -hmm. Here I am. You in there, buddy? We can talk once you sit down. <sighs> this is the clock tower. The sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. It's hard to believe you're the same indecisive man who bumbles his way through the real world. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. If it's not serious, could you forgive your partner for cheating? their bonds grow, the more suspicious they become of each other. Shut up. I have enough to worry about back home. No, you must continue to worry, both here and in the real world. What's true, what's false, and what path shall you take? <laughs> two types of bomb blocks with different blast radii. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. Not gonna die. Commencing area two. Are you ready? Uh. 
Try and undo your moves. Edge. 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 Right. Can't die here. Edge. 
here. Undo. Undo. I can't die Undo. here. Undo. Undo. Undo.
good. I've got a lot further to go. Uh, hey. Huh? That voice. That hair. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, I think I might know you. Never mind. <laughs> Thank God you're alive. Thank God my ass. I'm just gonna be cooking all day tomorrow and the day after that. I'm probably just going to collapse one day like my old man. Tell me, does that kind of life have any meaning? Well, you can cook, and you can sing, right? That's pretty impressive. That's right. Singing was the only time I truly felt like myself. What do I have now? Why do you keep talking to me? I'm just a cook. You have nothing to gain by talking to me. Choose friends based on their value to society? No. Then I'd be the same as them. I don't know anymore. <sighs> um, do you want some yummy juice? Hey, uh. Take one sheep and two blocks and crush him! Sheep juice! Use some wool that's flavoring! Wool! I think he's up for talking. I don't want to be turned into juice. Man, I heard all... Yeah. Things are getting tough around here. You can't always rise to every situation. But you can only fall to the level of your training. Like what? Try this one on for size. Allow me to explain bombs away after activating a bomb block. Quickly move it away from the area. If you push the bomb block off an edge before it explodes, the blocks around you will not be damaged. Did that seem useful to you? That should help. Have you seen this one? Allow me to explain spring. When you get on a spring block, you can jump upwards five blocks. You can move spring blocks. So use this knowledge to propel your skills to new heights. Nice! You're brilliant! All right, what's next? That sounds pretty useful. I expect nothing less of you. You want to review your techniques? Sorry, guys, but I gotta go. <laughs> Wish you luck. It's coming again tonight, isn't it? Hey, what is it for you? Yeah, different things. Some kind of baby. Hands. Stuff. Really does vary person to person, huh? In my case, it's my mother. Coming after me, to take me back, to lock me away. I managed to get away that day, but I've been running all this time since then, and now, I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. I need to keep running. Hang in there, man. I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. I need to keep running. Hang in there, man. Anna. Mm -hmm. What is this dream anyway? They say it's about cheating, but I've never cheated. I see. So what's really going on? Have you cheated? Uh, yeah. There's a survey saying that 70% of men in relationships cheat. That makes me a minority. But just so you know, 40% of women cheat. It's the truth. Huh, really? The study claims that people attempt to create relationships resembling those of their pasts. Your childhood relationship with your parents, previous romantic relationships, that's what people are yearning for when they search for love. Okay, so what? Huh? Or, I'm sorry. Anyway, not cheating is the best course of action. It's a momentary thrill, but it costs so much more. You know what I mean? Anna, I've decided to let others help me, so I can reach true freedom. I'm going to climb. For Anna. Why do people fall in love? What? 
Some people say that you find that romantic spark when you encounter someone who compensates for your own flaws. By doing so, you can find an idealized version of a personality completely opposite to yours through a romantic relationship. In a nutshell, you're trying to get rid of the self you hate through romance. Hmm. That actually makes some sense. I do feel like I'm a better person when I'm with Anna. I'm not empty anymore. I'm not the me who can't do anything. So maybe that's why we fall in love. To accept who we are and live our lives. That makes romance seem awfully trivial. I'm going to climb. For Anna. All right! Hey, look! There's light shining through the windows. Wow. Can you see what it looks like outside? Wow. Sorry, but I don't have any money. I thought about what you said earlier. You're right, but I can't just forget you're a man of wealth. Look around you. Could you really say it's the same as always? Maybe this time will be different. Don't bother. You'll just end up like all the rest. <laughs> you said it yourself. Money means nothing here. We're just sheep. Look, no one's gonna talk to you if you keep pushing people away. Hmm. But that's the only way I can protect myself. Hmm. All right, Anna. Uh, uh. Your piano is reassuring as always, but is it just me, or have you gotten a lot better? I think when I hugged you yesterday, my heart filled with warmth. And then you listened to what I had to say. It really made me happy. So, I channeled that emotion into my music. And thanks to that, I'm getting closer to being able to play the way I always wanted to. This must be the power of love. Huh. Uh, Rin, when you say love... Huh? Oh, it, never mind. I don't think I'd be where I am without you, Vincent. The others were talking about you, too. They said your energy gives them hope. You're my savior, Vincent. You are the one saving me. Oh, it feels amazing to perform for someone who's special to you. I think this is what gives people the motivation to live. piano player. Sheep that would have died a long time ago are still alive. And what about those guys who attacked me? What's up with them? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. They don't exist in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Are white lies acceptable? <laughs> trial the midpoint. Only the truly skilled will survive from here on out. The trials will only get longer, so there's no time to waste. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level.
It's a race against time on this long staircase. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your foot. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? I hear. Here. Edge. Just 
Slow down. I'll support you. Oh, hit my you may wish to undo. And try to do so. Now's my chance. Alright, I got it. Alright. Tenacious. That was amazing. I really admire your determination, Vincent. Ah, flattery will get you nowhere with a loser like me. You're not a loser, Vincent. You gave me a place to stay when I lost everything. You cheered me up whenever I was feeling down. You're kind, and you see people for who they are on the inside. You've given me so much in this short time, Vincent. Oh, Rin. So... <laughs> What's wrong? M my head... Are you okay? 
Maybe this is what it's like to be sick. I did take a cold shower. You need to take better care of yourself. All of these images popped into my head when I was playing. I think I'm getting close to recovering an important memory. Really? I just need something to help me remember. Who am I? Why am I here? Even if I get my memory back, I still want to be with... <laughs> I don't cheat. I don't go out and party. And the woman I love is... And I get these nightmares too? This sucks. <laughs> Wait, there's more? I'm gonna throw my back out. I'm glad you made it up all right. It's like my hands are just moving on their own now. I don't know how I got so good at climbing this stuff. Oh, I had a friend a while ago. Before I understood the value of money, it was fun. He was straightforward with me. Unlike my parents or my servants. But he changed after he learned the value of money. The same thing kept happening to me. But I realize now that I was the one who put up a wall. Whenever I was about to get close to someone, I'd tell them who I was. I wanted to be friends with you both. You've really opened up to each other. So I think we're already friends. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a while since I've been able to talk so honestly. I was overthinking it. I was the one who is being affected by money. The reason no one tries to befriend me is because I didn't try to befriend anyone. Uh. It's up above. I can feel it. Mother, I can tell. I'm, I'm tired. Tired of this life of running. Hey, hey. Mother's hands. Always so cold. So cold. She never let me wear clothes. Instead of dragging myself through hell. Maybe it's better just to die here. Oh, of course it is. What? Fuck, you don't know anything. I'm a bad man. I hurt women, my boss, everyone. I, I just... I just want a normal life. See? I want to live. I'll climb. I'll climb. Like there's no tomorrow. If we both survive, we'll meet again. Mother coming back now. Oh, it's you. I should. Do you feel it? It will be coming soon. For me, it's myself. It's me in Dalfor, with holes for my eyes, ears, nose, mouth. And it doesn't even chase me. It's a version of me who doesn't do anything, who can't do anything. I would rather fall into oblivion than have to see that. Oh, come on. Anyway, let's try and come up with some techniques. Why don't we exchange some information? Sure. Here's something that I came up with. Allow me to explain in Azuma. When you're climbing a flat wall with three stones in a row, use the pulling out blocks and hanging techniques. If you repeat the same pattern, you can climb in a zigzag without collapsing the wall. Perhaps you already figured that one out, though. Oh, hey, maybe this is related to your technique. This is a variation of Inazuma. You can climb flat walls with four stones in a row in the side. The technique lies in moving the stone to the side of the wall you'd like to travel up and creating a stepping stone. See? You're quite something. Yes, what an elegant move. Are you going to devise some more techniques? Sorry, guys, but I gotta go. <laughs> Wish you luck. Hello. This guy's come up with several techniques. It proves what kind of man he is. They're not new, but they're all logical and useful. That's the mind of a leader. I guess my business experience is paying off. It really does feel good to help out others. I should get going. Hey, can you talk with us? You're the best climber out of anyone here. That's nice of you. Yup, making my debut is just an arbitrary goal. I thought it was the only way, and nobody like me could shine. 
So when things were going well, I got scared when it mattered most. You see, then my dad collapsed. My family owns a small restaurant. He ran the place basically on his own. So it didn't take long for the stress to get to him. And what did I think when that happened? I thought I was lucky. I had the perfect excuse to get out of that situation. So, despite both her and my friend begging me not to, I quit music. I ran. <sighs> I didn't have the resolve to make a living in music. <sighs> I think the big one is coming up. Maybe I'm at the end of my rope. The big one? For me, it's my wife, Sophie. I as good as killed her anyway. She has every right to be angry with me. If she's the one who kills me, then I don't mind. You just giving up? Oh, right. I knew I recognized you. You're the one from the bar. I gotta pull myself together if I told you that much. All right. I'll go have a chat with Sophie. Sophie. I... Yo! I should get going soon. Damn it! Hey, it's you again. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey! Shut up! I can hear you! S sorry. Yeah, I understand. Been chased around by weird monsters every night. Well, go. There's another big one waiting to greet you tonight. <sighs> well, go. said about the tide shifting and what the hell does that have to do with anything well it's almost time this is the 10th question for a new possibility what factors in the most when you make an important decision <laughs> that one huh very well i've noted it let me give you a little warning Depending on what you choose, your life might change rather drastically. And at the core of it all, is that pianist. Rin, what are you talking about? Your true value is about to be tested. Of course, your options will be limited. The choices you've made will determine what paths remain. I wonder what kind of trial they'll lead you to. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Walking into an uncertain future like that, your next challenge is that fear itself. This is the final area for tonight. Observe the traps created by the enemy and stay calm. All right, let's just climb this thing and get it over with. What? There is no way! I'm not your dad. Definitely not your dad. Child with chainsaw has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die.
Sorry to say, tonight will be the last time I show you your memories. You've seen enough by now. To conclude, let's pick up where we left off on your budding romance. <laughs> Yikes, I drink way too much. I'm really sorry, you know, about last night. <laughs> We're both adults here. There's no need to apologize. What are you in the mood for today? I could make breakfast for us. Hey, Catherine. Hmm? Question. Do you want to be my girlfriend? How's that sound? Huh? <laughs> About time. Well, do you remember what you held so dear? To be honest, I planned to enjoy watching a pitiful lamb drown in his regrets. But this took a turn for the unexpected. You truly are interesting. What lies ahead is a direct result of the path you've taken thus far. Will you let this experience fade into the past? That's up to you.